so I'm just a couple miles from my house. This is like 35. And then, uh, in Ridley's it's like 54, you know. Yeah. It's worth it for the laugh. from New York. She's been on CBS, VH1, Showtime, and she's soon to be seen on MTV in January. Let's have a nice warm round of applause for Ms. Jeanette Farmer. Bitch, you maimed me! <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. That's even if all I had left was one little hair stand straight up on the top of my head, I would just go, oh. Thank you. I love the way it sets off my follicle. Thank you. And then I pay her. And then I tip her. Then I go to the mall and buy a hat. A really fucking ugly hat, because that's the one the sales girl liked. <laughs> <laughs> and I love to shop. I gotta stop though because I'm broke. It's just, but isn't it weird you always get the money for that? You know, you do. I know I'll save it up or, or I'll get an extra job or, or, you know, those little old ladies really can't keep a good grip on those purse handles. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, still snacking. Um, <laughs> and then last week I went to the dentist. And I was a little worried about paying that bill too, but but it all worked out great because I, I was just sitting out in the in the you know waiting room, kind of getting into the music. Yeah. It was wipe out. Yeah. <laughs> Playing on the organ. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Cool. And then there was like this 80 year old man sitting right next to me, and I thought he was dancing with me. So I'm getting down, you know. Oh, he was having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> And it was during all that excitement that I stole his wife's purse. <laughs> and then I went and I got my teeth cleaned. That hygienist is another bitch I'm getting a little bit too tired of. <laughs> they don't care how much they hurt you. They know she's putting all this equipment in my mouth. At one point, I thought I blacked out. Turned out she just pulled my upper lip over my eyes. <laughs> and this flossing thing they have. Even if you tell them that you do floss, I don't think they believe you. <laughs> I don't even try anymore. I don't. I just say no. No, I didn't floss. I have never flossed. No. I'm never gonna floss. That's why I'm here. Start scraping and do your fucking job. <laughs> they want you to do the whole thing for them. They do. Open your mouth, open it wider. Move your tongue. Hey, I am paying you to move my tongue. <laughs> And turn up the music. This is Wipeout. <laughs> you remember the good old days when you used to be able to spit instead of having the water vacuumed out of your mouth? Yeah! That bitch goes at you with the hoover! <laughs> I'm always afraid they're gonna suck out my uvula. <laughs> That's a little hangy down thing. <laughs> yeah, you have one, sir, but it's lower. <laughs> your weenie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. But I, I wouldn't have said anything about it at all except your little weenie is sticking out your pant leg. Were you hurt? <laughs> Can you guys see that over there? Isn't that amazing? And you say, look at that. He drew a little face right on the end of it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that is so cute. Now, did you draw that or is it a tattoo? <laughs> you drew it? You are a good dick drawer, guys. If, it, if there's anybody here who has no pictures on their dick, see, uh, what's your first name? Linda. See Linda afterwards. <laughs> but you can't give them all a smile face like this. <laughs> oh, well, good for you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you brought your weenie. <laughs> but anyway, I was at the dentist at the point, and she's leaning over me, and her breath was foul. Well, I said, would you like some gum? She said, no. I said, yes, you would. <laughs> I was wearing a ring. She's going, oh, I love that ring. I love black onyx. I said, thank you. It's not black onyx. It's a mood ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my teeth are clean anyway. I'm a vegetarian. And that's not because you kill the animal. I don't care. But I figure, just because that animal is dead, why would I want to eat it? <laughs> you know, I'm driving down the highway. I see a dead animal. I don't stop and make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, I have my great Bupan. <laughs> And naturally, I do. <laughs> Today was fun. I, got, I told you I got up early 17 times, so I guess you know that part for the quiz. Um, but I, I got up early. I went swimming. There's a there's a pool in the hotel, and there was this uh, this girl wearing one of those little dental floss outfits. You know those? You know you do, of course, sir. I saw your face begin to glow. And uh, that's how they are. All the guys were standing around the pool, looking at her, going, "Yeah," <laughs> which is a man thing that they do. <clears throat> you do that, don't you, sir? I knew you did. I sensed it. Do it for me. Let me look. <laughs> oh, he did it immediately. It was wonderful. I felt the testosterone coming at me in waves. I really did. 
In fact, it's kind of sticky. <laughs> Isn't that a weird thing that... Isn't that weird? I, I, I don't, women never do that. Never once have I been walking down the street, run into a girlfriend, and said, Hey, hey, I just got a new lipstick! Yeah! <laughs> I was adjusting my weenie. <laughs> I don't you hate it when he gets stuck on the left? I know. It's a... <laughs> 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 we are always making fun of men for that. We are always making fun of men for grabbing their dicks. Let me tell you something. If I had a dick, I'd be pumping that thing 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan. 
I really do. Last week I was down in Washington, D.C. Do, do you know that Washington is now the number one murder capital in the country? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you see, I'm from New York City, and I am just twisted enough to be feeling really competitive. <laughs> It's true, I went back to New York, I'm looking around, I'm going, you know, I don't think our killers are really even trying. I'm looking at the New York Post, what am I seeing here? Wounded, wounded, wounded. What's the matter with these blowholes? Can't they aim? We're the big alpha, we're supposed to be number one. I went to Central Park and killed an old lady myself. Somebody has got to set a standard. Besides, she had this really big purse. Yeah. You got a lot of crime in Detroit, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing very well. Good for you. Huh? To get away from the crime? Does it scare you, the crime? No, I don't. It's not on. I'm not scared about living in New York. I'm not scared about being killed, as long as I have my clothes on. Well, if you died without your clothes on, they put it up in the newspapers. They do! Jeanette Barber, found naked. Yeah! Dog nearby. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. It's like, you have your dress, they don't describe your outfit. You know? And the victim, looking sprightly in a gentleman green. <laughs> be horrible to die in humiliating circumstances. Look at Elvis dying in the bathroom, off the toilet. They think the whole world needs to know. Isn't that awful? Oh, God. I'm terrified to get famous. I can see the front page of the National Enquirer, Jeanette Barber, wicked yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> I like living in New York. I still have a roommate. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to start setting traps. I thought we were just going to you know, split the rent until graduation, um, but now I'm beginning to wonder if I've taken vows. Oh, she's been there. It's been over 10 years. She's got common-law status. Do you think I've married her? I'm afraid she's never going to leave. I think when she's just going to stay there, we're going to go into spinsterhood together, wearing sweaters and eating hot soup in August. I dread that. <laughs> I like New York. I live in New York because my father has high cholesterol, and he says that my living in New York is going to scare me to a heart attack, and uh, I'm in the will. <laughs> I'd be an idiot to move. <laughs> I mean, he always hung that over our heads when we were growing up, this, this inherent shit, you know? And with me doing comedy, he's going, Jeanette, there's no security, there's no retirement. I said, you're my retirement, Dad. Have some bacon. <laughs> he started, I swear to God, one year he bought me my tombstone. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I put it in the head of my bed, I haven't had a date in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, he's mean to well. I mean, parents are supposed to drive you nuts. They can't help it. He, he thinks that just because I'm a woman, my apartment should just automatically be neat and tidy. <laughs> like we're born that way. Yeah. Like I came out the chute with a dust mop in my hands. <laughs> Sorry about the labor, Mom. Had to clean up. <laughs> I'm not a good housekeeper. I'm not. I'm lucky if I clean the rat off the glue trap, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I know, isn't that ridiculous? That, glue the rat to a piece of cardboard, then what? Machine gun the fucker? <laughs> I don't know what you know. I've, got, I've got a mouse in my kitchen. Um, I saw him before I left. He came running out from about, well, that's ridiculous. He didn't run. Far too big to run. He lumbered out from behind the kitchen sink. He was dragging his ass. His thighs were slapping together. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, I've got a trap, but this is a big mouse. He came over, he leaned over the trap, it clamped on his head, now he wears it as a hat. I guess he's a pet. People keep working for pets. Yeah, I've got a friend that's got a pet tarantula. He says that it's really cute. He says, look, crawl right up your arm and kind of cuddle in your hair. I would cut off my head. <laughs> he loves this thing. He just loves it. I was over his house one time. He went out to the store and left me there with it. I'm just sitting there with a spider in a glass tank. I look up, there's the spider pressed up against the glass. Staring at me. Oh, that dirty thing was probably picturing me naked! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah picture me naked, laying on my back with eight hairy legs in the air. That is repulsive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. I was, about, I was in Mississippi a while ago. Has anybody, uh, anybody been there? No? I did this. I was in a small town. I was in Meridian, Mississippi. I was the first woman comic they had ever even heard of. 
I walked on stage, people got confused and started to bid. <laughs> I was taking a Holiday Inn for the golf course, and they hey, 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 do you think men really like to play golf, or do you think that's just their taste in pants and it's the only place you can wear them? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think, oh, men are wonderful, I just got other odd dressers. I do think men are wonderful, I don't think women understand men at all, do you? No, no, no. I don't think we're fair. Women are always saying, this one I hate the most, men have no emotions, have you heard that? Isn't that awful? That's what you say. They're just emotional about different things. If you think a man has no emotion, watch him watch football. <laughs> no! 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 Yes! Yes! No! I went running in. I thought he was stuck in his zipper. <laughs> they get involved in that. Five minutes into the game, some damn thing has apparently happened on the screen. He's on his feet going, it's over! The game is over! And you know it's not. It's the first inning, second quarter, fifth revolution around the planet. I don't know what the fuck these terms are. <laughs> and you know what hurt my feelings the most? First time I ever watched football with my boyfriend, right in the bottom of the screen, it said, time left in the game. And I believed it. <laughs> Two and a half minutes, four hours. Sports time is like dog years. <laughs> <laughs> They're very emotional, and they driving. Mary's talking about this. You men, what happens to you men in cars? What is that about? What happens to you men when another car passes you going faster on the highway? Is that a hormonal problem you have? <laughs> Oh, and then there's this thing, they think that their car is an extension of their weenie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's an attractive thing. If you think your dick is a black Corvette, please back it out of me. <laughs> oh. It's not a turn on for me. I can't even drive. I really can't. I tried it one time. It was terrifying. I was trying to drive. This car's coming straight at me. If it had been for that other lane, we'd be dead. <laughs> I never know what's going on around me. I can't take my eyes off the road. I have to pull over to look in the rearview mirror. <laughs> you think it's not true? I really don't drive. I live in New York City. I can't. I, I don't even know how to make the car go. And I have tried talking to it. Uh, everybody does that. That's what's so cute. They make all these laws at, because, uh, about television shows because they're trying to protect little children from hearing bad language. Any kid who has a father whose car wouldn't start <laughs> has heard everything there is to say. <laughs> I know, and I was, from the way it sounded, my father's car had been out nights hooking. <laughs> He's yelling at it, telling it what to do, and you want to go, Dad, a car cannot kneel. <laughs> But he keep asking. <laughs> That's ridiculous. They're yelling in the car, kiss my ass. <laughs> Why would you want anyone to kiss you there? <laughs> now, honestly, if, there was, if I was really, really mad at somebody, the last thing I would want to do was let them look at my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I never understood that, that mooning thing. Who are you humiliating? <laughs> You know, I mean, granted, it is horrifying to be faced with a naked butt on a bus window, but I get to keep on going. That poor bastard has to live with that. <laughs> I, if I woke up in the morning and my first thought was, oh my ache and God, last night I stuck my butt out a window, <laughs> I would have to quit my job. I would never leave the house again. I would call a 1-900 therapist. <laughs> But then, of course, nobody outside the bus saw anything but my butt, so only the people in the butt would know about it, and I could always assassinate them. <laughs> but anyway, and men are mostly the mooners, aren't they? Isn't that odd? All the women moon too. You really can't blame the men. They will they'll do it too. Men are great. I love them. I do. I only make fun of them because it's so easy. But um, <laughs> but they're great. They are. Of course, you know, men are the only creatures on the entire planet who you can ask, what are you thinking? They can say nothing, and it can be true. <laughs> oh, see, that's so cool. The women are applauding, and the men are now bonding. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Yeah. Did you see the way this, this man on the plaid shirt, he was just looking up at me? He's thinking somebody ought to get up there and put that bitch in her place. <laughs> yeah. Put that bitch in her place, and you know what? I like that. I do. Yeah.
I do. I love it when a man puts me in my place. Because <laughs> I am so incredibly... <laughs> Because I am so incredible. It's, it's a flaming fig leaf. See through this cocksucker. <laughs> that was fun, even though it did ruin. I had a wonderful punchline because it was uh, it was going to be that that uh, put her in her place, and uh, I like that because I'm so comfortable on a pedestal. Wouldn't that have been funny? <laughs> <laughs> well, you think, I know you think, they just don't want to tell you. Men don't want to say anything. I, I, uh, I lived with a guy for two years, he never told me his name. <laughs> I'd always call him Honey and Pumpkin. Everybody thought we were so cute and romantic. I had no idea who the fuck he was. <laughs> it's a big deal catching a man. And all the magazines tell you how, remember that horrible article in Newsweek? said that a woman in her 30s had about as much of a chance of getting married as she had of being shot by terrorists. So you know, a couple of you laughed at that. I bought a ticket to Beirut. I don't mind being single, but I am so sick to death of having people ask me, why? Are you married? No. Oh. I didn't say I had no arms and legs. And then they want to know why. Why aren't you married? Why? Because nobody fucking asked me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out and making me feel like a dateless wonder. Thanks. <laughs> Were you a dateless wonder once? <laughs> We're bonding now. <laughs> I think it's good to have been one once. Are you married now? <laughs> well, yeah, but you get laid. No, no. <laughs> you know, you'll think about this, sir, because maybe she'll get fucked right during the show. She's in the back of Star. <laughs> I'm trying to help him get his thrills where he can. <laughs> I'm trying like hell to keep out from underneath that glass top coffee table. <laughs> such a handsome man, but you know, whatever you like is all right with me. Hey, you stud, yeah, really. Pay <laughs> hey, the poodle to come in and take a dump. <laughs> I read another article in, uh, in Mademoiselle, because I care about the truth. And, um, yeah, this one said that the best place to catch a man was in your health club. And gosh, I'm just so pretty in the pool. Yeah, with the goggles and the nose clip. <laughs> if I met a man in the pool and he asked me out, I would know he was a freaking pervert. <laughs> you know, I got these big plastic goggles, I get some sick bastard with some weird attraction of bugs, take me out in the fields, and make me go, please fuck me. <laughs> And I wasn't. <laughs> well, not necessarily because I wanted to, it's just, you know, I'd lose a pound. <laughs> cool. Weight's a really, really big deal for me. I've lost 150 pounds, I swear to God. Praise me. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm not Oprah. I didn't gain it back. <laughs> I'm mad at her. I really liked her for a long time, but I got mad at her because she gained it back, and it was in the National Enquirer. She's going, um, it's like death and taxes. If you gain weight, you will eventually lose it back. Just because you couldn't keep it off, you goddamn bitch. Don't you go threatening everybody else. That scares people. I was very angry at her. She's not going to... Well, I never watched her show anyway. <laughs> so I guess she doesn't care anymore. But I did. I lost all that weight. Um, I lost the last 50 pounds on Slim Fast. And those shakes are good. They're better with ice cream, but they're good. <laughs> And now I'm trying not to, uh, to gain it back. I think all women worry about their weight, though. I'll bet even you worry about your weight, don't you? Do you really? Good. <laughs> I like to see a pretty girl suffer. 
Yeah. And then she hear this little itsy bitsy tiny little girl over here and, and think, the little girl that doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, don't be, don't be shy. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> Give up the dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a client 
they say if you know anything about flying, you really wouldn't be afraid. Do any of you, are, are any of you uh, uh, in the air people? Yeah? What do you do? <laughs> I could tell. She was lying about the drugs. I know that. She's hiring a fucking kite right now. What do you do in the air? Are you a flight attendant or a pilot? Neither? <laughs> They're all yanking my wiener. <laughs> I like flying. I'm not afraid of, uh, of crashing and burning and dying. Although the idea of crashing and burning and not dying does make me a bit <laughs> They tell you you can use your seat cushion as a flotation device. Yeah. And won't that be just such a comfort to you? <laughs> Floating there, a burn victim in shark infested waters. <laughs> that plane hits the waves, all the sharks are going, eh? Oh. Hot buffet. <laughs> and I'm left floating up and down on a seat cushion. <laughs> well, to me, it's a floating seat cushion to the sharks, that's just a Ritz cracker. <laughs> and anything fits on a Ritz. <laughs> Even you, little girl. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what's going on on this plane. I'm telling you, half the people on the plane had babies with them, and every baby on that plane was crying. I know. I was thinking, come on, they've got a baggage compartment. Yeah. Oh, I mean, babies are lovely, and somebody has to have them, but must they sit behind me? Oh, there was one behind me coming up, and this was not a cute baby either. I turned around, I looked at it, I went, oh! <laughs> This woman had mated with Sasquatch. Because <laughs> this thing had big feet. And it was using them in my ass. Right through that seat. I was getting really mad, so I just slammed the seat back really, really hard. <laughs> that just made it cry louder, but then it did have this big red attractive knob on the top of its head. <laughs> totally distracted the mother. I got her purse. <laughs> How many people have kids? Even the thin pretty girl. Wow! You guys have all been at it. Good for you. I'm not gonna have kids, I don't think. And then it's kind of scary, you know, thinking about getting older and, and being alone. But then I'm thinking, I don't know if it's really worth all that work just so that I have somebody to unplug me. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it really burn your butt? She has to be the big pretty girl, and she's pop babies, and you know that's supposed to make you gigantic. Little girl, now is he the father of your children? Well, then at least I found out she's loose. <laughs> he may be only temporary. <laughs> I'm sure he's nice, but I know all the right places. <laughs> How many kids do you have? One? What kind? A girl. That's what. Oh, there's two kinds. You must have been thrilled, huh? I would definitely. You would have to have a girl and she didn't pee on you. That's one thing. The boys do. My girlfriend had, had a little baby boy. For the two months, he peed on his own little head. And then he went, yeah! <laughs> very proud, you know. How old is she? Two years old? Wow, she's still very young. Now, um, uh, did, uh, <laughs> you guys make my job very easily. Um, <laughs> did you, uh, how long are we in labor? I beg your pardon? Maybe speak that again. 45 hours? <laughs> Easy for you to say, sir. 45 hours? Why didn't you get a cesarean? I would want a cesarean. Of course, I would want mine in the third month. Uh, I would. I would. I'd be going three months. It's done now. Oh yeah, you can take it out. I'll water it. I think it's a really big enough. You're aware of that. You know, no, it really is. Guys, guys, that'd be like shooting the kitten out your dick. You know that, don't you? With claws. <laughs> I have never known a man to get excited about the idea of his dick being scratched out with a claw. Another friend? Uh, I didn't know. Did you know that there was a perverted convention in here tonight? I'm glad 
you guys are here. I'm glad you know. And I'll find out later they've been fucking goats in the parking lot. I'm, you know, <laughs> and they're just quieter about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well. There is someone here from Mississippi. <laughs> They can't cook? So what do you fuck, a pot roast? What do you mean they can't cook? I don't understand that. Did you understand that, that they can't cook? <laughs> Isn't that adorable? My boyfriend said that. One day, one day he said, uh, he said, can you can you make dinner? And I said, anybody can. You can just tell the waiter what you want. <laughs> yeah. You just can't be too attached to the result. I'll have a recipe and, and I'll be missing one of the main ingredients, but I'll make it anyway. <laughs> and then I'll serve it. They're oatmeal cookies. <laughs> but all I had was eggs. <laughs> you get better food for a sheep than you would for me. <laughs> 45 hours, you poor little thing. I, I really... That's, now, did you scream? You didn't scream? <laughs> you, must got, you guys must have a lot of fun working together. And I, I think if any of us has ever wondered why our luggage was lost, <laughs> we've discovered a little bit about the inside of the airline industry here. <laughs> wow. Um, so you enjoyed it. No, of course you didn't. He said that you enjoyed it. I don't know, but I'm, I'm suspect of all you men over there. I mean, 40, and you didn't scream. Now, did you have natural child birth? Are you smart enough to get high? <laughs> okay, if I had a baby, I would get ripped to the tail. <laughs> did you photograph the item, the, the, the event? Yeah. People do that. They, they actually do. I, my girlfriend wanted to have this thing videotaped the experience itself and she actually said to me she said she thought it'd be really interesting to see herself and that someday she'd be able to show it to her son <laughs> i know i know billy this is your head and this is mommy's twat <laughs> <laughs>
but you put all your energy on her, nag her to death in school, that'll be good. It's weird when you're in school because you don't know what you're going to want to know. And everything now, everything that you always would see in science fiction, you know, time travel, that's physics, right? Uh, molecular transportation, like on, on Star Trek, they say that's possible with physics. Um, then, you know, why is a solid a solid? That's physics. Physics, apparently, is the key to the universe. And I failed it. I totally fucking failed the key to the universe. Oh, that hurts my ass. I don't understand it so bad. I don't even know what it is. Is it math? Is it science? Is it a ham hock? I don't know what the fuck it is. It's terrible. I feel ter I'm not going to be able to keep up with the kids, you know? In about 20 years, everybody else will be wearing leotards, just sprouting from planet to planet, hopping around, and I'm going to be out back living in a covered wagon, letting bees nest in my hair. It was a sad moment we shared. That's pretty cool. <laughs> You're very handsome, what's your name? Roger. I never had a Roger. <laughs> Linda's going, shoot that fucking bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, she's very funny. Let go fuck the little girl, you get off my man. <laughs> <laughs> You're exceptionally good looking, what do you do? An engineer, do you work uh, on planes with them or do you have a poodle? <laughs> What kind of an engineer? Mechanical engineer. That's very dominant, isn't it? Do you really? Turbine engines. Are, what are they, Arabs? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't understand any of those things. Huh? Oh, because that... Are you using that as proof for my being incredibly stupid? <laughs> Poor thing, she can't understand. She's from New York. <laughs> Have you been to New York? Never? Anybody? Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, isn't it really cool? It's really weird up here. I, I'm walking through the hotel and people are saying, hello, somebody bumped into me, said, excuse me. What the fuck is the matter with you people? <laughs> That's right, Grandma, eat me, bitch. Come on. <laughs> I think I'm being polite, which is what you're like. You know, I mean, to me, that's just kind of like loving and bonding, but, you know, it's different here. So tell me, um, uh, well, sometimes you have to give them a few clues, you know, they don't know exactly what they're doing. Not in there! <laughs> but don't you be upset, Roger. I'm sure you're still incredible first thing in the morning. <laughs> they wake up with it like that. They do. They do girls. It has nothing to do with us. <laughs> I used to think that it did, but it doesn't. They wake up with that thing, they gotta put it somewhere. <laughs> I said, use the bureau drawer for Christ's sake. <laughs> I am not the only receptacle in this room. <laughs> I have that coffee. I don't want to have my head drummed in the headboard. <laughs> What's your name, uh, 23? Brian. Wow, 23. Now, how old do you think I am? Woo! It tells you how fucking old I am and they laugh when I ask that. Doesn't that just kill you? That's how you can tell you're really getting old, but everybody starts telling you how young you look. You know you're just about ready for the grave. Because <laughs> nobody would tell you. You look like a full-blown rose. Dead, but you still smell good. <laughs> Brian, how old do you think I look? <laughs> he wants to know if he guesses my age right, will I fuck his girlfriend? Can you imagine what I'm like? <laughs> Let's move over here to a human. Now, Roger, how old do you think I am? 33, just like Christ. And quite a flatterer, aren't you? What about you? What do you think? Set the clothes out or up? <laughs> <laughs> Which way would I look younger? <laughs> Dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you've been looking at my ass all night is no reason for you to be so rude. <laughs> Greatest body on earth. Of course I don't. I've lost 150 pounds in the in, in a high wind. I flutter. <laughs> I do. I don't think I can get it out. I'm just gonna show you. For my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna fuck you. <laughs> never. If you were, if that it was either you or that or his poodle. 
maybe I'd reconsider. Do you have a boner? Huh? You Tonight, Janet is wearing a long flowing arm flap. Do you? Thank you. Oh, see, now you guys believe me where you didn't believe me before. I don't usually do my arm flap anymore because somebody told me I look like a circus act. I said, oh, thank you. How flattering. <laughs> you know, okay. You want to guess my age? 21, I'll swallow, sir. Thank you. Yeah. 